In 2004, we had the Nintendo DS. And back then, when I was 14, yes, I know I'm old, the DS was a big, innovative hit. Then, in 2006, came the DS Lite. Did I own one back then? Nope. But it was cool knowing Nintendo realized they should have made the DS with the specs of the DS Lite and charge us, consumers that is, again, for a millionth time, for better hardware that plays the same games. Now in 2009, DSi came out, in North America at least, I think it was 2008 in Japan, and it had enhanced games to play on DSiWare, which I still did not have the opportunity to play. But again, it was another console I never owned up until last year in 2023. But finally, in 2024, because I now own and love every DS type of console and a lot of games that I've yet to play thoroughly because I'm old, I bring to you the best DS in the 20-ish plus years to exist, the Steam Deck DS. That's right, mobile gamers. The time has come finally for DS emulation on a PC handheld to be able to play on both screens. Now, this has been something that has been asked by the community for quite some time. There has been a, quite a few different like methods that you could actually use to actually be able to get this going that I never tried. I had people even say, oh, couldn't we load Android on our Steam Deck, for example, or our Asus Rogue Ally, for example, and just sideload drastic and try the dual screen functionality. Well, I never even got around to trying that. And then it came to my attention that one of you guys actually in this DMG clan, awesome community, YouTube atmosphere, sent me a message in the chat. I'll put it on the screen here. I don't remember the username right now, but here's the username. They said Melon DS now has dual screen functionality, which is freaking awesome. And at the time I was away in Dominican getting married and I just was like, oh, cool. I already know that, you know, Drastic has DS emulation or Drastic has dual screen abilities. So uh, why bother? And then I realized, oh, this is for PC. So the moment I got home, I jumped on my Steam Deck. I jumped on my Asus Rogue Ally and look at what we have. We have dual screen DS emulation on the Steam Deck with the DNA Duo. Yes, the DNA Duo is something that I ended up developing over this past year. It is hopefully going to be released to everybody by January now at this point, if anybody keeps asking me. Uh, just because right now we're, I'm running a pre-order sale for the DNA Duo. If you don't know what that is, you're looking at it right now. This is a dual screen display that becomes part of your device's DNA. And that was kind of the slogan that we came up with for the DNA Duo because it really does. It becomes part of the device that you want it to become part of because I have created a innovative magnetic uh, hinge adapter kind of thing here so that you can attach it to different devices and it does clamshell over top of the device it is powered by USB-C only so you don't need any external power you can bring it with you on the go you can leave it like this you can keep it plugged in it does have USB-C charging pass through it also has a mini HDMI port and the design of this thing is going to change a little bit because yes we are actually getting oled for this as well i have confirmation from the company that has been working on it to get the uh, actual driver board that runs the actual display and everything hopefully by next week which is going to be going into like the week of the 10th of december so they did confirm that with me after i got back from my vacation so yes ds emulation on any Windows PC handheld is now here properly, that is, with the help of the DNA Duo. If you don't know what the DNA Duo is, definitely go check it out. And by the time this video releases, you can actually use a special promo code, not the one that's already being ran right now that gets you 15% off up to the first 100 orders, but I'm giving you guys 20% off up to the next 50 orders only 20% off using I love DS. The code is I love DS. And if you want to get 20% off your total order, your pre-order that is, then use that code upon the checkout. And again, I'm hoping that we can get everything all set and done by January for this thing, because 
this is spectacular. It works for Wii U, it works for 3DS, and now for DS, and that is amazing because people love their Steam Decks, people love their Asus Rogue Ally, people love their uh, Legion Go. And for Legion Go, people that keep asking me if I'm going to make an adapter for the Legion Go, I have universal adapters that are coming out. I am still kind of perfecting the universal adapter because the old design, I didn't like it, and yes, it will be available for a lot of different devices and i also have different ideas for uh making it available for different devices as well which is going to allow you guys to actually maybe customize your own adapters and stuff as well uh so what i'm going to do is just share like the actual magnetic part of it that you can just uh basically customize via fusion 360 if you want to or whatever program you use to customize your 3d printed stuff and again no it's not 3d printed this isn't going to be a 3d printed device or anything this is actually going to be injection molded i already have a company that is waiting for me to send them the new design and they already quoted me for the original design so it shouldn't change too too much price wise for the actual injection molds so that is another thing that people keep asking as well so no it's not going to be 3d printed i know 3d printed looks like kind of crap but I don't know i like it it's fine to me but i've been just playing it and i'm biased obviously so uh yeah it's not gonna be 3d printed i'm gonna let you know that now so if you want to go get one go pre-order it pre-ordering does help with getting this going i ran an indiegogo campaign the indiegogo campaign only reached half of its goal almost and now we're running pre-orders on the website but as you can see here playing ds is now an option upscaled nicely at 5x resolution that's what this was sitting at and i am going to be sharing some guides on how i got this set up with my steam deck and my asus rogue ally and i might even do my um a neo pocket or a neo next light that i have sitting on the table as well i might do a guide for that as well just so that you guys can get an understanding of how to set this up for your pc uh, Linux based operating system, which is what the Steam Deck is, because yes, I am using the desktop mode. And what I did there is I pressed the L1 button to make both of the views go full screen. The very cool thing, which I'm going to show you right now, which is the ending of this, is that I can press the power button. It'll put the Steam Deck into sleep mode, and this doesn't draw any power. It draws very little power, actually. I've done a lot of testing with that. Yes, the screen's not actually adhered down right now. It's just actually just sitting on top. And then if I want to go back and play this again in the future, say a couple hours down the road, I'm like, oh, I want to continue where I left off. Press the power button. It takes a second for it to just do its thing, and it reconnects and i can continue where i left off i can continue touching the screen yes this is a touch panel as well and i can go play some more mario kart if i want to using toad and maybe change my cart to the standard td cart and go to the banana cup have a nice day guys hope you enjoyed go get yourself a dna duo check out melon ds I am going to probably send the developer a nice donation because of this because Melon DS is now my go-to for PC handhelds at least because I never really used DS on there until now. And I don't see a point in having an Android at this point. Have a nice day, guys. I love you all. See you next time. And as always, signing off with a final 